Hey, what's happening, guys? I was asked a while back if I could get a little bit more in-depth into op-amp theory. And uh got a little free time right now, so I figured, why don't we just talk about that a little bit today? So let's start out with basic op-amp. can be a 741, whatever, right? So your op-amp is basically a three-input device. You have two high impedance inputs, one called the, the, uh, the inverting input and one called the non-inverting input. And then we also have the output. This is the third um, terminal in the device. Oop. One thing to keep in mind with the output is that it can either source or sync current. Now, in practice, we also have a V plus and a ground there. But you already knew that, right? <laughs> so the amplification, op amp, get it, operational amplifier. So there's going to be some form of amplification that comes through the output. We have four possibilities for our amplification. We have voltage, which is, you know, voltage in and out. We have current, which I'm just going to use the symbol I, in and out. And then we have a couple things that we've never talked about on this channel before. Let's start with transconductance. And that is voltage in and current out. Alright, I know that's a new concept for you guys who are just getting started, but that's okay. You don't have to memorize it today. And then we also have trans resistance. Who knows what that one is? Well, it's the opposite. It's current in, voltage out. So those are our four possibilities of the amplification for the op amp. Let's just stick with voltage for today to keep things easy. So the amplification that comes through the output is going to be the difference between the inverting and the non-inverting inputs. That's our basic operational amplifier. So this type of an amplifier that we're talking about is actually what's known as a differential amplifier. And I tell you, what, let me draw it first and we'll come back and talk about it. So this is a circuit of a differential amplifier, which is a type of the op amp we're talking about in this particular case. And it operates from dual supplies. You see we have VCC and VEE, and those would be, you know, VCC here and VEE here. Now our negative and positive inverting and non-inverting would be V1 and V2. And our output would appear right here. So what happens as V1 is increased, V2 is decreased, or vice versa in this case, if these two transistors are perfectly matched or as close to perfectly matched as possible, then the current flowing through our common emitter resistor will remain constant at all times. Also, the current coming into our collectors will be differential as well. As one goes up, one will go down and everything stays balanced. And that's, your, that's a, a basic differential amplifier using an op amp, but this is what the circuit would look like with resistors and transistors. Also known as the common mode gain. And in a perfect world, if the signal applied to the non-inverting and the inverting uh, inputs are exactly the same, then there should be no change on the output. But this is not a perfect world, it never is. So in that case, what we end up with is what's called common mode rejection ratio. And you'll find that expressed in data seat sheets as CMRR. And like I said, it's, it's expected to be zero, but it never is. And if we operate the amplifier in this mode, which is called open loop mode, meaning say we apply one signal here, 
one signal here and we read the signal coming off here assuming that we have both our VCC and our VEE that is known as the open loop differential gain and it's usually referred to as A0 and most op, most op amps that you're going to deal with like let's just talk about the 741 the most common it's going to have an incredibly high open loop gain almost to infinity almost so the things we want to keep in mind here are our open loop gain which is thought to be infinity but in real life it's going to be between 20k and 200k next is our input impedance which is zn and uh it has a very high input impedance i mean it's it's generally infinite i didn't draw my google very good did i there almost infinite but there are leakage currents from a few pico amps also now our output impedance can be a little bit more different now when we put all these things together they show us where the basic rules of op amps come in and they are this is just the assumed rule of op amps no current flows in the inputs and the voltage at the output when the inputs are equal is equal to zero those are your that's your basic rule of the op amp so through that we know that our open loop gain is supposed to be infinite but for a 741 uh, I think it's about 100 dB at around 1 megahertz but don't quote me on that I could be a little bit off that's as far as I want to go with this today if you guys want to get even deeper into op amps you let me know and we'll do it other than that thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed it if you did leave me a comment big thanks to all the patrons big thanks to you guys for watching that's it I'm out peace